Alrighty. This is the video I'm watching. YouTube channel Epic Economist. Video is titled Planned Starvation and Food Shortages Coming as Food Prices Rise to Dangerous Levels. Okay. Well, that's simple. Um, another YouTuber somewhere in the world has already said the solution for that problem. Uh, let's see. I think two YouTubers I've been watching. Uh, Peak Prosperity and Gold and Silver with Mike Maloney. I think both of those guys have said the same thing. Buy the seeds or the saplings plant them grow your own food now I'm just gonna reiterate with extra steps involved <laughs> go ahead and do that start growing your own food um, it's not as simple as just do this it's um, there's a few extra steps in it so you have to determine the pH balance in your soil. Uh, you may have to go to um, uh, you may have to look it up because I don't have the information right offhand. I haven't bothered to look it up for myself, but there's a website somewhere I know you can go to. You can talk with a professional agricultural engineering expert of some type of variety they can send you a kit you collect soil samples you test it or send it in to them so that they can test it preferably learn how to do it at the testing yourself in your own uh, yard your own office whatever you have available determine the pH balance determine what pH you need to grow what types of plants uh, determine uh, the environmental conditions that they need to grow in whether you need a, a greenhouse whether they can grow without a greenhouse okay pH balance of the soil summer and winter temperatures uh, growth conditions that's what these are. Those two at the very basics. Bare, bone, bare bones minimum here. Uh, let's see. What else are you going to need? Proper irrigation. Um, you're going to need to dig down far enough to... Well, first you're going to know... You're going to have to know how far the roots of these plants are going to go. How far to dig down. Uh, what type of irrigation to set up to make like a small reservoir underneath the plants so that a certain amount of their what is it called the eye root the central root that the plant drives all the way down through which all of the other branches of the roots come off of it goes down a certain distance. You're going to need to dig down, create a small reservoir for rainwater to collect in, and for proper drainage. That way you don't flood your plants. You're going to need the appropriate um, bedding, uh, small, medium rocks, probably some sand. Think of it as um, you're doing more to set up but once you get all of these extra steps set up it'll be more self-sustaining than not I'm not saying it will be completely self-sustaining because very few things truly are self-sustaining 100 percent so what you're looking at is you're spending all this extra energy to set it up so that it will last longer so that it will produce better better results for you and your neighbors if they need so uh, look at the old um, 
Roman and French drainage techniques. See, so you get all this set up. You get this soil pH balance. You get the proper drainage, the proper uh, reservoir basin far enough underneath where you're planting so that the central root that goes all the way down has enough water in reserve for when you occasionally might forget to water it or when the dry season comes along and you have to go out and manually water it. That way the water just doesn't seep into the ground all at once. So this is a lot of effort to set up but once it's set up it'll be built to last longer. Then you gotta determine which types of plants take what types of nutrients such as uh, phosphates and sulfurs and um, nitrates out of the ground and you have to determine how much of that that you need to have readily available before you plant how much you're going to need to add in a uh, fertilizer not just cow manure <laughs> um, and then that's going to have to be pH balanced as well proper proportions uh, which plants take which nutrients out of the ground and what nutrients they put back into it because there's an exchange between the plants root system and the surrounding dirt so if you set it up to where this plants taking this nitrate and it's putting this other thing and this this other plants taking the other thing but it's also putting out the nitrate this plants needing to grow put them side by side close enough to where the root systems will entangle and they'll be feeding each other the resources but you know far enough apart to where you can get to them and do proper uh, uh, trimming and whatnot it's a process it really is and there is a massive quantity more than just these small nitpicky details that I've given to start with yeah there, there's a lot more to it than just that so share the information with whoever needs it and get planting you know for those of you who can start doing it if you haven't already when that next uh, whatever they want to call it check goes out to everyone set some of it aside to do that set some else aside to pay off a uh, portion of a bill if you can afford to do so please go ahead and plant yourself a garden so that you can take care of yourself and or your neighbors and or your family yeah you your family then your neighbors yeah that order other than that you know what you plant and if it's viable in the area that you're gonna plant it uh, that's totally up to you if you're gonna do it as a neighborhood project then you know do it as a neighborhood project and decide okay yeah I can afford to go off and get this and then you know divvy out which who's gonna get which plant and start growing some food And after that, then you're going to have to look at how to process stuff like wheat. Make your own flour to bake your own bread. Yeah, but uh, short and sweet of it is, it's going to take longer to, to grow your own food. It's several months to years. For example, blueberries takes about two years before they start producing anything but there's other plants that produce rather quickly and then um, there's potatoes 
that's a starch which turns into a sugar in the body that'll give you temporary amount of energy and some micro and macronutrients as well but that's that's well beyond the scope of just saying the startups yeah, there's a lot to it so that's it there that, that the best I can do right now is to say here's some information that I'm aware of I know there's a massive amount that I'm not aware of take it do what you can if you have the ability to do so and that's it that's the end of this video till next time toodles